is Monica. This is the second video about the PayPal widget and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize it. So in the main widget you have the option of adding a logo and that'll show up at checkout. Your logo has to be 150 by 50 pixels and it has to be a JPEG file and you can only preview that after you upload your site to an FTP host. So let's go ahead and style the buy button. So as per usual, you can customize the fill and the stroke. You can change the typeface by going to the text panel. You can also change the font size, alignment, etc. If you open the widget option panel and you open styling, you can change the text spacing and letter spacing. You also have the option of adding an icon. You can customize the size, position, and other attributes for that. And you can also change the width of it, as well as the separator line. You can also customize the hover effects. So for example, if you want to put the price, you can do that. And then you can change the colors of the background, border, and font. You can change the opacity, and you can have it become larger or smaller. You can also change the speed. And if you wanted to, you can also assign to an object using graphic style. So as an example of that, let's say that I wanted to use this little icon as my add to cart button. So I'd create my object and then I would go to the graphic styles panel. I would create a new style and I would name this add to cart. And then I would go to here and I would go to assigning, check assigned to an object using graphic style and I would put the same graphic style name and then I would just move this to the side. You can also customize the item variations. So you can choose to make this larger or smaller. You can add a fill and a stroke. You can also go to styling. You can change the triangle icon size as well as the color. And you can also choose a separator line color. If you wanted to, you can add letter spacing. So what you would do is you would just create a text box, you would type some words, and then you would style it how you want the text to appear. So I'm gonna change the typeface. I'm gonna add some letter spacing. And if I want to, I can make it like all caps. I'm gonna go to the paragraph styles and I'm going to create a new style and I'm going to call it variations. And then I'm gonna select my item variations and then I'm gonna select variations. And then my letter spacing and my font are going to be applied to it. I can just delete my little sample text. Another thing that you can do is you can add rounded corners. So let me select this one as an example. And I can just add rounded corners. Now I'm going to customize the cart panel. So for the cart panel, if you open the main widget option panels and you go to cart panel, you'll have a couple of different options. So when you check this box, the cart will be open when a buy button is clicked. You have a lot of different opening animations to choose from, so we can choose something crazy like rotate. You can choose duration, page overlay, opacity. You can change your empty cart message, and you would just use the text panel to change the font for this message. So we can have that selected, go to the text panel, we can change it to something else. So the cart panel itself is a simple container. You can choose to change the fill color, and you can also add a stroke. So for the added item widget, if you open the option panel, you have a lot of different options for what you can do. So for the items, you can set the height of each item's bar. And you can also specify outer padding, inner padding, and gaps between items. You can choose an item background as well as a separator line. And you can also specify the font size for the item name, price, and info. And you can also choose the font colors. You can customize the item remove box. The shape can be a circle or square, and you can also change the size as well as the colors. You can also customize the quantity box and add rounded corners. You can change the text color, border, and background color. And if you want to change the typeface, just select the added item widget and customize it in the text panel. You can also change the size of this container just by dragging it, and you can change the size of this container as well. So the checkbox can be customized. You can open its option panel. You can change the checkmark color as well as the alert text that shows up. And if you wanted to, you can also change the corners as well as the stroke and fill. The total amount widget can be styled through the text panel. 
And the checkout button is just a simple text frame. So you can style it as you would any other text frame. If you wanted to, you can have your own object function as the checkout button. So you would first create your object. So let's say I wanted this rectangle. You would go to graphic styles and then you would select checkout. And then you would style the object. And then you would delete your old checkout button. And if you want to, you can delete any of these objects at any time. You really don't have to have them. And then the close button can be customized as well. And you can also choose to use a graphic style. So for example, if I want to create my own button, And then I would go to Graphic Styles, I'll select Close, then I can delete this. You can also customize the notification. Since it's a state button, you can add your own text frames and images to it. So if I wanted to add this to it, I could add it. You can change the color, stroke. If you open the main widget, you can go to General, and then you can choose where the notification appears on the screen. You can also choose how long it shows up on the screen before it disappears. You can also use your own object by using graphic styles. So I'm going to use an image as my notification. I'll add it there. And then I'm going to go to graphic styles. I'm going to select notification. And then I'm going to delete the old notification. The total number widget, you can change the fill and stroke. You can make the container larger or smaller. And then you can also choose whether or not you want it to be animated when an item is added. And to change the font, you just go to the text panel. The cart button functions as the other state buttons, so you can change the typeface and other stuff for that as well. Here's our custom notification, our custom buttons with the scale effect, the item variations, rounded corners, And then if we click on the notification, it'll open up our cart. There's our close button. And if we try to check out, here's our custom alert message. Well, that's all that I have for you. If you have any questions, you can check out the documentation or you can leave a comment below. As always, thank you for watching.